In this video, we're going to be tinting my 2023 Chevy taillights with the VHT Nightshades product. Let's do it. There you go. And that just stays there. Tail light is completely out. Take it to the bench to make it a lot easier. I know you guys might be thinking, Brandon, it's a new truck. What happens if it doesn't look good? I have a video actually where I remove nightshade from a Mustang taillights to get the car inspected. So it's super easy. You just take brake clean to it. So if it doesn't work out, I can take it off no problem. As you can see, we got them on the bench. I'm just going to take a cloth and just wipe these down. These are like very nice condition still. Um, just get all the dust off it. Wipey, wipey wipe. Get all the dust, get all the grime off. Do a little bit of brake clean over just to make sure we get it all spotless. Hold the bottom and just wipe her. All right, at this point, you don't want to stop touching it and start handling it from underneath. So as you can see, I moved them to a different table, a little bit lower down. And I got them separated far enough apart that when I do the paint, it's not going to overlap the other one. Shake for a minute after the mixing ball moves freely. Shake can every 10 seconds after a minute of use. So we got it shaking here. We want this to not ball up and be clumpy. Want to be nice and smooth. So guys, I've shaken it now. Quick tip, make sure your nozzle is pointed this way because if you're doing right and left, you want it to be pointed this way. If you're going up and down, you want it to be pointed the other way. I'm gonna go right to left and the nozzle, if it's not pointed the right way, it won't shoot that right pattern. So just be aware of that. There we have it, you can see it getting blacked out. And I'd say that looks pretty good. I think we'll do, we're gonna wait about 10 minutes and then run her through another coat. But that's exactly what we wanted, guys. You see that? Just a nice like tint to it, like a nice smoked look. Nothing crazy at all. There we go. That's looking a lot better. We might leave it at that, guys. That looks pretty good for me. That's exactly what we're looking for. It looks really, really good. Just wanted that little bit of smoke. So I'm gonna let that dry. We'll turn, we'll see how it looks in a, about an hour. Okay guys, we're about an hour in and you can see it's still super glossy. I think if you stick with lighter coats where you're not trying to black out the light, you can get this finish. Still drying, but that looks really good, guys. I'm excited to put it on the truck and see how it looks. Also, guys, I do have LED reverse lights already, just so they're already brighter. So I'd recommend that if you're doing this without masking that. I mean, this shouldn't be that bad for your vision. It's very light, but yeah, LED bulbs never hurt. It recommends three hours before you handle it because I did it so light and I need to go to work in an hour. <laughs> so I need to put them back on my truck. But because I did them so light, you can see it seems to be good to handle, but I'm gonna put them on, drive home, go park in my underground, and they'll cure. Here it is, it looks really good. One hole, two, and wiggle, wiggle. Pull it back in. There it is, super easy to do. Just gives it a little bit of the smoke look. And I'm loving the way that looks. For me, that's perfect. I didn't want it pitch black. I still want the red, I don't mind it. It looks really good. Just still glossy too. No clear coat, no sanding, just throw her on. Let me know what you guys think. We'll check it out with the lights on here. Look at that. Right, still super bright. Looks really good. So a side look guys, you can see I tinted the side marker there and then you can see the back here. That looks awesome. Yeah guys, super simple mod. So was this mod too. This mod changed the whole look of the truck, believe it or not. That was simple too. I'll leave that video in the description. Now even in the sunlight guys, look how awesome that looks. It almost makes my color pop more. 
for some reason. I don't know why, but my truck looks completely different. I love the way that looks. Well, guys, that's going to do it. It's honestly very simple. I know I've been watching a lot of videos, clear coat, sanding, blah, 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 professional finish. But I mean, like, this is like, you could do it better than this too. But look at that. Like, what do we need? What else do we need to do? Like, I put this underground every day. It doesn't sit out. It doesn't bake in the sun. It doesn't get hit with the weather as much as it used to or some other vehicles. So I don't think it really needs a clear coat. I think it looks awesome, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you've used it before. This is my second time doing it. Still pretty simple. Some tips I have for you guys. Just make sure you clean it and make sure you actually get as best like pattern for the spray as possible. Try to blend it. A few spots were a little bit thicker than others. But overall, even with those, it not being perfect, I still really like it. It looks awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. Quick video DIY 2023 Chevy. Go do it to your vehicle. Go have some fun in your vehicle. Make it yours. And we'll catch you next time. Peace.